hello luna mars here and we are back to conway disappearance at delia view um we were going to piece everything together that we found at the pub so we're gonna put everything on that side so much stuff Shirley used Lady Doa's telescope to spy on the Morgans. Is there any evidence that places her in Lady Doa's home on the night that Charlotte May was taken? The only proof of an intruder at Shirley Downs's pub was a glass they may have smashed during the attack. Is it possible that there was no intruder? Is it possible the glass could have smashed in some other way? I've taken some excerpts from the police report I found. Can I use them to connect Shirley to the kidnapping? Alrighty. We have a lot of stuff. There must be some small detail I'm missing on some of the evidence. I should read every detail on the evidence. That's right. I'm onto something. Now to piece together the rest of it. I need to make sure I'm scouring all of the evidence. There must be a detail I'm missing on some of the evidence. That's right, I'm onto something. Now, what does the rest of it mean? I need to look at every piece of evidence. That's it. By the police's account, Shirley had access to the same type of rope and chloroform of a sort. Match that with the telescope as an attack weapon, and I think I have all the means I need. I can even place her at the window, watching over Charlotte May just minutes before she was taken. I spent so much time looking at the McKees and Harold Levy. It's Shirley. It has to be. Dear God, I hope I'm not too late. Time to gather my neighbors and share my suspicions. Uh -oh. Put an end to this once and for all. I was reaching the end of my investigation. No idea if Catherine could even look me in the eye. I'd promised Tony Morgan I'd find his daughter, and I'd betrayed my own in the process. Perhaps I should have listened to Catherine and left the investigation to the police. Perhaps Tony Morgan didn't need my help. Perhaps I'd failed everyone. Only time would tell, and Shirley Downs held the key. Thank you for coming. What do you want, Dad? I told you I didn't want I to... I promise I'm not wasting your time. What do you want? Please, come inside. I have something you'll want to see. You'll forgive me if I don't believe you. Then why did you come? It's... my job to follow up all leads. Then, please... I'll show you what I've been working on these past few days. These past few days you promised me you weren't investigating again. Please don't humiliate me, Dad. 
Waste your last few minutes to hunt and dry. Christ. Who is the main event? <clears throat> Thank you all for coming. I imagine you share some notion of why I asked you here. In short, to discuss the disappearance of Charlotte May, and also to apologize to each and every one of you. I'm sure you know by now that I've been investigating every possible area of her disappearance, and that has meant looking closely at Daily View. You mean spying on us? A crude interpretation. But yes. That's illegal. Surely. I've broken no laws. Uh, I can assure you. That we know of? This is an invasion of privacy. You're a police officer. How can you let him do this? It's not illegal to ask questions, Mrs. McKee. What about breaking and entering? How do you feel about that? Hey? Are you pressing charges, Mr. Levy? <laughs> yes. We still need to address the fact that there's an attacker at let large. Let Mr. Conway speak. I'd rather like to see where this is going. Well, uh, with my apology out of the way, let's talk about what I've uncovered. Um. Lady Della, I thank you for permitting me to search your home. But on reflection, you really should pay more attention to whom you employ to clean your estate. Hmm. Hindsight is a blessing. I don't think you had anything to do with Charlotte May's disappearance. It's a shame that your home was violated in such a way. Again, I extend my apologies that you've been dragged into this. Water under the bridge, Mr. Conway. All right. Harold Levy. You don't like me very much. I can live with that. <laughs> You said it yourself. As long as I pay my rent on time, we won't have a problem. In the future, it might do you well to extend that courtesy to neighbors going through certain hardships. Well, not every problem can be solved with your fists. I believe you owe Mr. Morgan an apology. What's he talking about? God knows. Other than that, I found nothing to think you capable of such a terrible act as kidnapping a girl. I have nothing more for you. Oh, that was a waste of time, then. <laughs> Man. Alrighty. Annabelle and Theo. The two of you clearly have problems of your own to work through. The very nerve of you, Mr. Conway. And you should have reported that dog that you hit with the car. It would have saved a lot of time, and perhaps we would have found Charlotte May by now. But I have no reason at all to think you could have taken Charlotte May. I could have told you that if you'd asked. I have nothing more to say to the two of you. And finally, we come to Shirley Downs, the second victim of our unknown perpetrator, a completely innocent bystander the night that Charlotte May was taken, the perfect alibi. Were it not all based on lies and deception? Well, then... What? No, you... You all saw what happened to Shirley, me. please... Let us dispense with the song and dance. Shirley? What is he talking about? I have no idea, Annabelle. I can assure you of that. Just what on earth are you getting at, Mr. Conway? <laughs> I bloody didn't know it. You've always been a dark horse. Shut up. I had nothing to do with Charlotte May's disappearance, I promise you. Mr. Conway, I think you might have made a mistake. Catherine, would you mind? Please. I think it's time we talk to Miss Downs alone. Could we have the room? I, I think I should stay. She's my sister and she needs my... Mrs. McKee, please. Everyone, in fact, leave now. I think it's best you leave too, Mr. Morgan. Don't worry, I'll update you later on this evening on Sunday more. Shirley, I... I'll be fine, Annabelle. They're making a huge mistake. Just do as the police officer says. I'm afraid that means you too, Mr. Levy. No way. I would have missed this if you paid me. Get out, you fool. <laughs> this is what you wanted, was it? 
How very disappointing. Good work, Mr. Conway. Shirley, please take a seat. But now, where should I begin? Look, I, I don't know what this is about, but I think you made a huge mistake. I'm sorry, Catherine, is it? Can you talk some sense into him? I think we should hear what he has to say. Oh, this is ridiculous. If you have nothing to hide, then surely you would relish the chance to prove your innocence. You watched me get attacked. That proves that the kidnapper is still out there. Well, let's start there then, shall we? Um, hold on. What do you have to say about this? You, you've been watching me. Annabelle was right. This is an invasion of privacy. Well, isn't that what you wanted? What are you talking about? Well, for someone to see your charade. Well, this the whole business with the so-called intruder. You set the whole thing up. <sighs> what a ridiculous thing to say. How could I have? Why would I? You did it so that Tony Morgan would see you as the victim, and therefore not as his attacker. I saw you too. I'll admit, you were very convincing. This is all in your mind, Mr. Conway. You... you have no evidence at all. Well, we'll see. Let's continue, shall we? How will you explain this, I wonder? Perhaps you want to explain how you found that, without breaking the law. Uh, well, uh, I'm sure it will come to that. But for now, we are talking about you. You have nothing to say. There's no getting around this, Shirley. You're not listening. It wasn't me. What's that supposed to be? Why don't you tell me? It was found in your pub. So what? Lots of people drink there every day. Glasses smash. I don't know what's special about a piece of glass. Hmm. It sounds plausible. Well, there you have it. Well, then Mr. Crow didn't seem to think so. He told me you took it from the police evidence room. <laughs> Prove it. I intend to. I'm sure Mr. Crow will be willing to testify. Let's move on. Well... I suppose that's that. Catherine, is what you've heard enough to arrest Miss Downs? I'm sorry, it's not conclusive enough, I'm afraid. Well then, I suppose I was wrong. I should have gone with my gut and accused Annabelle. <laughs> what? Again, I'm sorry I've wasted your time. Oh. Catherine, can you see if Annabelle is still close by? Wait, yeah. Mr. Conway. <sighs> What could you possibly think Annabelle has to do with this? Well, I shouldn't discuss this with you, but all those late nights whilst Thea was gigging, no one able to verify her whereabouts. And then, of course, there's the matter of the, uh, well, like I said, I shouldn't discuss this with you. I apologize, Miss Downs. Let's see if we have enough to arrest your sister. Wait. What is it? For God's sake. I, I hid the telescope in my safe, but I was hiding it for someone else. The truth, Shirley. All this conversation is over. Okay, I hit Mr. Morgan, but I swear I thought he was someone else. I'll see what your sister has to say about that. I'm telling you the truth. Annabelle had nothing to do with it. Where is Charlotte May? I didn't take her. That's why I hid the telescope in the first place so the police wouldn't suspect that I took her. That um, makes no sense whatsoever. I didn't take Charlotte May. Uh, so let me get this straight. And it's very important that you're clear. The telescope is the attack weapon. I... Uh, I took it from Lady Dever's hallway. 
I saw my sister having an affair from Lord Dower's window. I was angry. I... I, I overreacted. You attacked Tony Morgan. Uh, I already told you. I thought I was hitting Harold Levy. He was kissing my sister, Annabelle. A married woman, Theo's wife. You faked the attack against you. <sighs> yes. I needed people to know that the kidnapper is still out there. I couldn't come forward and say what I'd done because people would think I took Charlotte May. You took the shard of glass from the police evidence room. Well, well, yes, because it proved that I hit Mr. Morgan. But I thought I was hitting Harold Levy. I don't think even you can separate the truth from the lies anymore. I'm not lying, Mr. Conway. You took Charlotte May that night. I did not. Then you put her in Lady Doa's basement. Why? I'm not saying another word. You knocked me from my chair and then staged the attack on yourself to throw me off the scent. <laughs> That's all in your head. Where is Charlotte May? Is that enough to arrest Miss Downs? I believe so, yes. Then I think I've heard just about all I need to. Catherine, may I have a word? Well, it looks like you were onto something after all. Yes, it looks that way. Let's wrap this up then, shall we? Wait a moment. You see now what I was doing, what I had to do. I do. Well, then what's wrong? With a little more time, Shirley will tell us where Charlotte May is. You can arrest her. This is a good thing. You lied to me. You betrayed my trust after you promised me. I'm so glad that you were right. I, I really am, but... That doesn't change how you did it. Catherine, we did it. You and I. I listened to what you said, and... I truly am sorry. There were moments where I knew I was crossing a line, but I did it. You've told me already. And I meant it. Please... I'm going to update Mr. Morgan later on and tell him what we found. It would mean a lot to me if you were by my side. What do you say? I don't think so, Dad. No, she's I'm sorry. So mad at us. Catherine, please. Miss Downs, I'm arresting you on suspicion of the abduction of Charlotte May Morgan and an attempt to obstruct an active and ongoing police investigation. You don't have to speak. But anything that you do say might be used against you in a court of law. Do you understand what that means? Shirley has confessed to almost everything I've thrown at her. But she's refused to give me the location of Charlotte May. I hope to God she's still alive. It's out of my hands and up to Catherine now. I've reached the end of my investigation. But at what cost? I promised Mr. Morgan I'd return this brooch when I found Charlotte May. The news of Shelley's arrest will have to do for now. Now that all's said and done, suppose I should tidy all this away. They were all innocent. Everyone apart from Shirley. How did she manage to hide who she really was from everyone? Even her sister.
I was hoping to return to Mr. Morgan with his daughter. Not this hollow gesture. to roam these halls and wonder what kind of neighbours lived around me. Now I know all too well. That's it, we're moving out. Mr. Morgan take the news, I wonder. He's been through enough. No sign of Catherine. She's not coming. Hello, Mr. Conway. Mr. Morgan, uh, how are you? Uh, as well as can be expected, I suppose. I... I have to say, I wasn't expecting you so soon. I apologize. I, I thought you might want an update regarding Shirley Downs. Of course, yes. Uh, uh, why don't you step inside for a moment and... Uh, well, please come in. You can leave your things down there if you like. Thank you. Please, you were saying? Uh, yes. In short, it went well. She confessed? Oh, uh, well, uh, not to all of it, but I have reason to believe she's confessing right now in police custody. She confessed to hitting you over the head and to pretending she was attacked. Uh, we found the weapon and, well, the list goes on. What about my daughter? She refused to admit it. She was adamant. But you, you said she confessed to hitting me. Well, there's more to the story, I'm afraid. She swears blind that she thought she was hitting Harold Levy. What? Uh, uh, okay, I, I don't know what that means. I agree doesn't make any sense. Where is my daughter, Mr. Conway? Mr. Morgan, I won't stop until I find her. I, I'm sorry. That was unfair of me. I understand. And it's me who has to apologize. I, I told you I would find your daughter, and until now I've failed you in that matter. I don't blame you. you you've done all you can. I'm sorry. Where are my manners? Please, come and sit through here. Is this a trap? Perhaps you'd like a cup of tea, Mr. Conway. Um, it's two sugars, isn't it? Uh, yes, that's right. Man. Please, uh, make yourself at home. I'll be back momentarily. Uh, thank you, uh, I will. You gonna drug me? He's probably gonna drug us. Let's see. How long have you lived in Daily View? Ooh. Must have been before I moved here. Uh, yes, uh, about four years or so. I remember the day you moved here. 
I should have introduced myself then. I'm, I'm sorry about that. Not to worry. I should have done the same. Where is Charlotte May's mother, if I'm not intruding? Aren't you married? That's a very long story, I'm afraid. What about yourself? Isn't there a Mrs. Conway? No. What exactly is your line of work? I'm a dentist. Really? I imagine that pays a good wage. Well, I'm a dental assistant, if I'm being honest with you, but I'm training to be an anaesthetist, so there's that. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, um, that reminds me, I've brought the brooch back that I found at the crime scene. Thank you so much. I hope it was of some use. What on earth? This isn't Charlotte May. It's a different girl altogether. Wearing Charlotte May's brooch. Another girl. Jesus, what is this? Mr. Morgan, what have you done? Of course it's him. Uh-oh. Uh, <clears throat> um, I said I hoped the brooch was of some use. Uh, yes. I, I mean, no. I, I wasn't able to connect it to anything. Is everything okay, Mr. Conway? You seem yeah. a little out of sorts. You just yes, uh, I'm fine. Found uh, out that you were the killer I, uh, or the kidnapper. Don't think I'll have that tea after all. I'm sorry to put you out, but I remembered I have to hand over all of my findings to Catherine. She'll probably be waiting for me. Uh oh. She was six when that picture was taken. Is that so? Hmm. Such an innocent age, wouldn't you say? Charlotte wouldn't have known what real danger was back then. Not like you and I. Well, we all have to grow up at some point, don't we? You'll excuse me, but I, I really must Are be. Are you sure you're okay, Mr. Conway? Uh-oh. I can't help but feel your discomfort. Yeah. Is it something I've done? Like I said, I'm probably keeping yeah, Catherine waiting. Yeah, his attitude his has all. changed. <sighs> you know, uh -oh. I thought that I was careful enough, but the way you think... You really are very clever, Mr. Conway. Oh. To your detriment. It's funny. I, I spent the past few days wondering who on earth would attack me. I was as confused as everyone else. Turns out it was all just a misunderstanding. Have you ever heard anything so unlikely? I was going to leave town that night. I'd left her in Doe's basement. Things were almost in place. I was putting the rubbish out, and then... <laughs> well... And then Shirley Downs. She's still alive, isn't she? I really am glad you decided to investigate. The mystery was eating me up inside. You know, I watched you work these past few days. Watched as you pulled our neighbors' lives apart piece by piece. Getting to work with you at Shirley's pub and seeing you before that at Lady Doe's house. It was very exciting. We're gonna go. It's funny. I felt that if I could just... 
reach out. Of course. Mm, what you I got couldn't. there? From what I remember, you reached out with your fist. You almost caught me that night, you know, in Lady Doa's basement. You were so close, but still so far. You know, I've never had to go back and check before. But after you promised me you'd find her, I had to think on my feet. She cried when she saw me. I suppose she was seeing me for the first time in many ways. She? You mean the girl that I... Some other poor child you've taken? Where are her real parents? Why did you do this? Charlotte May was six when she... You see, after so many years... Well, they stop looking like children, don't they? So she was too old to remind you of the real Charlotte May. And that's why... This really isn't your first time. The first time I did this, my hands were shaking. I was a mess, Mr. Conway. I'd have been embarrassed just to be in your presence. You sound as though she means nothing to you. She means everything to me. Have you lost your mind? I think our little talk is over, Mr. Conway. Believe me, I don't want to do this, but you leave me no choice. I, I don't think you will kill me. You didn't tie that little girl up for no reason. If you were simply a murderer, you wouldn't have left her alive down there. There has to be something more to you. What makes you so sure? I... I think you wanted to see her as Charlotte May. You wanted to believe it, right up until the end. Well, you've got it all figured out, haven't you? What happened to the real Charlotte May? You have a daughter, Mr. Conway. You know how it is. It's your responsibility. Your duty to protect them, no matter what. Tony, what happened? I must have left the balcony door unlocked. I took my eyes off her for just a second. We lived on the fifth floor. Tony, I'm so sorry. Perhaps we should talk about it. You can tell me about her. If you let me go, I'm sure I... I don't I... think so, Mr. Conway. Oh. I've complimented you on your intellectual prowess. Please don't insult mine. Fine. Where is the girl now? She's quite safe. Where are her parents? The girl I've been looking for. I couldn't tell you now, but for a while they owned a small doctor's practice in Turing City. That's where I first saw her. She reminded me so much of my Charlotte. Over the next few days I saw it more and more in her. What would the real Charlotte may think of you? You won't speak her name again. Do you think she'd be proud of what you've done? Please. Stop. What about this girl? Everyone's looking for her. You can't get away with this. Mr. Conway. You've already arrested Shirley. No one is going to find her. And no one is going to find you. Now, please stop. You're beginning to make me rather uncomfortable. Jesus. You wouldn't want her to remember you this way. None of that matters. Now, please, try to keep still. <laughs> Please, don't do this. You're a reasonable man, Mr. Morgan. I know you don't want to do this. Believe me, I've tried to change what I am, but I can't. 
Who is it? Mr. Morgan, I would very much like to speak with you. For God's sake. Oh. Um. Like father, like daughter. Not a word, Mr. Conway. The anesthesia should kick in shortly. Ah, hello, Mr. Morgan. I'm sorry to trouble you, Please but I wondered me. if I might speak with you and my father. Your father, Blue Stone. Are you expecting him? I thought he might already be here. He said he's going yourself. to talk to you about Shirley Downs. May I come in and talk through our options? Catherine, help me. Uh, I'm not sure that's a good idea. <laughs> okay. It's him. That's fine. Him. I can come back tomorrow. You know what? With everything that's going on, I'm not... About yes, to Morgan. Stop. I think that would be a good idea. Um, tomorrow morning. I'm back here. Lunchtime, perhaps. Um, if you think it can wait until then. I'm Save yourself. sorry to bother you so late. P please, don't apologise. We'll talk tomorrow. Right. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Um. Wait. Uh, what is it? If you haven't seen my father, then why is his camera in the house? Oh. And his bag? That's right. Mr. Morgan? Alrighty, what happened? <laughs> okay. Do you know where Catherine is? Can I just... There we go. Catherine! Dad, are you okay? I, I'm fine. Thank God you are. Oh. I'm, thought the worst. I did too. What happened here? I mean, what on earth did I walk into? If I'm honest, I'm still trying to figure that out myself. Shirley was telling the truth. It appears so. We searched the house. We'd ruled him out. Is he... No. He's alive. He's been taken to the station. We want to know if he's done this before. I'm afraid you won't like the answer. Oh, my God. That could have been you. It could have been either one of us. Dad, listen. I... No, Catherine. I'm sorry. I am too. 
Are we good now? It's funny, I... I came back tonight are we, because... Are we okay? Part of me knew I should have listened to you, but... I just wanted to prove to myself that I didn't need any help. The apple hasn't fallen far from the tree. I need to ask, did you find Charlotte May? Is she... Follow me. Charlotte, this man is Robert Conway. He's been looking for you for days. Are you okay, my dear? You're safe now. You don't need to be scared anymore. Aww. Catherine here is going to take good care of you. I'll just be a moment. I I'll come back. Don't worry. She hasn't said a word since we found her. She thought that Tony Morgan was her real father. Man. She didn't even know it, that... It, it doesn't bear thinking about. So, what do we do now? She doesn't have a home. Well, that reminds me. Her real parents owned a doctor's surgery in Turing City. Can't be many doctors out that way who have a missing child. That's a great place to start. I imagine you'll want to come along and help. Uh, no, no. I... Perhaps it's best to leave this up to the professionals. Yeah, and I need a vacation. I'd like it if you were by my side. I'd like that too. All right. Yeah. My daughter's not mad at me anymore. the game um i thought it was a really a really good detective game um i like the whole daddy daughter aspect of it though that was like new and interesting for me um yeah I like how we <laughs> figured out everybody else's dirty secrets. Um, it was like, man, there was a lot to like everybody's house. See what happens when you, when you, um, <laughs> don't mind your business. <laughs> um, but I'm glad the girl didn't die. Um, yeah, I I did like Conway's character. <laughs> Very stubborn guy. But yeah, pretty good. Pretty good detective uh, game. But uh, yeah. I think that's going to do it for Conway, Disappearance at Dahlia View. Um, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. And if you want to see what other video games I will be playing, or any other video games I've played before this, please subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one.